care about black people's tears. It does absolutely nothing to go out there and protest. And these same individuals who go out there and stop traffic don't want to do anything for their own communities, but yet want to blame the white man for all of their problems. <laughs> nah, so that ain't it. Man, get the mic to Amber. See the whole problem with your argument? You fail to acknowledge the historical oppression that many black people face in America today. White people literally benefit from the historical oppression of black people in this country, and for you to dismiss that is appalling. Yeah. Yeah. So what you make on your own set? What do you think I made? I don't know, that's why I'm asking. Well, I didn't make as high as you, Raina. Who said I scored high? Oh, please. You're just using this as an opportunity to just show off. Really not. I just wanted to know how my best friend's law school journey's going. I scored a 150. It's not too bad. NCW requires a 140, I think. Why do you have to be so shady? Well, you're gonna have to retake the test. NCW isn't Harvard. NCW's graduates probably work for the state and get paid the same amount as a school teacher. You'll do better, that's all I'm saying. Why, thank you for your input. I scored a 174. No one asked you what you scored, but thanks anyway. <laughs> so about this debate in class earlier. What about it? My argument was supported by facts. And so can mine. Historical oppression is accurate, but there is no evidence to suggest that white people purposely marginalize black people as a part of some white supremacist plot. Mass incarceration. Really? Black people commit more crimes, really. Black people are more likely to get caught than their counterparts. Uh, say, for instance, because of their, I don't know, skin color, racial profiling. Does any of this ring a bell? Still, if you don't commit crimes, you won't go to prison. White people aren't planning drugs on black males. That's stupid. They have their own choice to make their community a better place. They're illogical animals. Really? Animals. Are we all animals, homo sapiens? Some are just more pragmatic than others. No one is exempt from emotional reasoning, including you. But like you said, we're all animals. What am I doing? Oh, I'm just watching this show about serial killers. Crazy in these shows, bro. I know. People are really full out here. Like, I wouldn't kill somebody unless it was self-defense. But people really be walking around and be like, oh, I'm going to chop somebody up. Like, that's wild. I don't care how mad somebody make me. I'm not killing them. I enjoy my freedom. Right? Girl, girl, hold on. Hold on. I'm getting an incoming call. All right. Hello? Johnson. Move your car off the premises. Well, usually the president isn't here over the weekend, so I didn't think it was a problem, but well, I, get it told, I apologize. Then you're going to be out of luck. Then you ain't going to have no car. Then you're going to be upset. <sighs> Understandable. See, this is why black people don't get Thank stuck. you for letting me like know. Take Thanks advantage for the morning. Have a good evening. You're going to close the door and put your seatbelt on or I will shoot you. Get out the car. Do I know you? Are you some kind of student? I have no money whatsoever. If you just let me go, I promise I won't tell the cops. Get out the car. gonna do to me.
to your shine. I hope you slept comfortably. Every pet must learn humility before they get special privileges from their owner. If I wear this, would you let me go? It's a possibility. You're crazy. You're not going to leave this closet until you eat and wear this collar like a dog. Woo! 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 